you're doing well. And I invite you to join us on this journey as we find out what's happening across your world, in your town, in your city, in your country this evening. I invite you to also share with me your views and reviews on the news. The SMS line is 220447. I beg your pardon. 22047 is the SMS line. Send in your feedback, send in your reactions on the news, and I'll be happy to sample it live on air. You can also talk to us on X or Twitter at TV47KE at Muyakane, and I'll be happy once again to engage with you on the stories that matter to you. Straight away, shall we begin? President William Bruto has signed four universal health coverage bills into law. The four bills include the Primary Health Care Bill, Facility Improvement Financing Bill, the Digital Health Bill and the Social Health Insurance Bill. However, Kenyans will have to dig deeper into their pockets with a monthly contribution of 2.75%. George Maringa with more. Fresh from his three-day tour of China, President William Ruto jetted back into the country and embarked on his main agenda for the day, hours after arrival. The venue being State House Nairobi, where compared to the low-key signing of other bills into law, the four bills that the president was assenting to were accompanied by a fanfare and razzmatazz. The radical changes in our healthcare architecture we see not just the realization of universal health care coverage for millions of our people. But this series of bills is an area where we agree to agree on everything, including some of the amendments we eventually have. Those bills are in alignment with the sustainable development rules, specifically SDG 3. The Social Health Act means the country will transition from the current National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF, to the Social Health Insurance Fund, which will now enable all Kenyans to access quality health care, regardless of their financial status. The Primary Health Care Act will help provide a framework for the effective delivery and management of health services using primary health care networks and community health units. The Facility Improvement Financing Act will seek to provide for an efficient, secure and accountable mechanism for the collection, retention and management of revenue derived from health services. On the other hand, the Digital Health Act will be used in developing and maintaining the comprehensive integrated management information system to manage the core digital systems and the infrastructure required for its seamless health information exchange. The Council of Governors, however, took issue with two of the laws enacted today. Your Excellency of the four bills, we have no issues completely with the two bills and that is the digital, health, the digital health bill and the primary care health bill. The other two bills, we will not see exactly we have issues. We only ask that we, in the state they are in at the moment, they may not be implementable, but the solution would be to have regulations made in the shortest time possible so that we can make them implementable. The social health a uh, bill that you have now ascended into law, we are going to move forward, Your Excellency, because there are three funds that we have created in there. The primary health care fund to ensure that the primary level is publicly financed. The social health fund, Your Excellency, for many years, and many Kenyans have given us feedback that they were not able to know what is it that they are covered for. Despite paying 500 shillings, they did not know what their benefit is. We want to reduce from 500 to 300. Many Kenyans have asked me, what happens to the person who cannot afford 300? I want to say, under the laws we have passed, even those who cannot afford 300 will now have an opportunity to have an insurance cap so that we can truly say no Kenyan will be left behind. The new fund will replace the current NHIF, which has lost billions of taxpayer-contributed funds to corruption, denying many paying Kenyans access to health care. 
it therefore means that Kenyans employed in the formal sector will make a monthly contribution of 2.75% of their salary, capped at a minimum of 300 shillings and a maximum of 5,000 shillings. The government will help Kenyans who cannot contribute towards the fund through equity of 26 billion shillings. For an elusive program that has remained a piped dream over the decades, the government says that with the signing of the bills now into law, the country will finally be able to achieve universal health coverage. UHC, George Maringa for TV 47 at State House, Nairobi.